Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know a long time I was kind of busy and sometimes if not then I was not in the mood. So um, today uh, I had both things in order so I want to make it um, a collective haul kind of a video. So please don't judge me. As the title says it's a big haul and it's been collecting with me for past two three months uh, from the last video when uh, since I posted so uh, yeah it's uh, inclusive of uh, Sephora hauls and Nordstrom and Barney's and uh, such so as you know holiday times all the companies are out there giving promotions and whatnot so two for you to buy so I was sucked into it what can I say so in no particular order um, or you can say yeah first I'll go with the eyeshadows and uh, to start with the best ones of course I made a palette for uh, from the makeup forever line I got these through during the Sephora friends and family and of course um, this the shade is M408 this is the matte uh, yellowish it's very very good to uh, put it in your crease to highlight that area it's it's a little bit brightening effect uh, it's very very nice um, this one is ME734 it's the tangerine shade and this one is ME744 um, and this is also this is kind of an orangey red shade and And these are the shades so of course so I got it backwards but these are the shades so this is the first one and the second one is look like this this comes kind of true to color but this is I think this is more purple so this one is I1606 this is kind of a pinkish brown it's very very nice all over the lid and this one is I838 and this one is I922 uh, these are very very uh, nice eyeshadows very creamy and very nice to put on the lid um, directly so these three As you can see these are a multitude of colors that I got I still want more of it but the price point is kind of uh, yeah maybe in the future of course there are two single eyeshadows which um, I got is one is from NARS their uh, dual in intensity eyeshadow is fr this looks actually to sorry total white in I think uh, the viewfinder but it has a duochrome effect of pinky uh, color so yeah I yeah that's coming out true to color this is the shade and this is very very good I have uh, tried it and uh, all over the lid it's it's the reflection it gives um, it's phenomenal I have just put it in on all over my lid and line with a liner and mascara and um, it's very very uh, nice shade and if I didn't try as such for the uh, the wet version of it but I believe that if you wet it it will be a more prominent shade and I bite the bullet in the royal eyeshadow from Ardency in and this is a deep dark plum it, I think it looks blue in here but I can show you it's more of a plummy color uh, and it looks like this see it doesn't have any blue base under it but I don't think it's coming uh, it's actually coming blue but it doesn't have blue it's proper royal purple color it's very very pretty uh, I have tried it in the crease to deepen oh my god it's uh, if you want any one of the shades from Ardency in it's very very creamy just pick 
try to pick any one shade I think you will not be able to resist uh, the colors and of course I didn't want to but I did <laughs> this is from the hourglass infinity modernist palette and I must say out of everything I have right now or I will I'm showing it to you this is the one palette I use each and every day and I love it these are the shades these are so creamy so buttery and after using this I get to know how a brush will pick up the color and smooth it on your lid seriously whatever brush I have picks up the right amount of color and just sweep through your lids or wherever um, on the eye area you want to put it I have used it lightly today just to deepen my eyes and I have put a green eyeliner just to match of course so but this is a perfection if you guys want to have a high-end uh, neutral palette this is the way to go of course there are handprints all over it but definitely definitely a must if you want any of the things from my haul um, I believe that will be a way to go and hmm, another purple palette I couldn't resist of course and this is the chrysalis palette from Cat 1D they had new interstellar palette I didn't get it because I was not drawn to it it's just a regular neutral palette but this this is just such a beauty I use of course you can see these two shades hmm I'm just a sucker for purple I don't know why but uh, bronze sea colors and purple colors these are must in my I don't know in my arsenal and I am the wise <gasps> 3 palette I don't have any urban decay palettes prior to this um, I have gone back and forth I have swatched in every store I can get my hands on before I finally uh, think that it's the best purchase for me it has all the colors uh, which I can use on a daily basis um, of course you have seen the swatches of it and uh, I love basically this row of course because it has pinks and purples in it and the sonic color it's just it's phenomenal uh, if you guys want any um, of the palettes for me to do a full review if you want I can still do it and of course if um, you want any tutorials out of uh, any of these palettes or any of the eyeshadows or any of the products coming in the haul um, right now so just please let me know uh, next eyeshadows are done <laughs> And the next is um, Anastasia, Anastasia Browways, Browways? Brow Powder in Dark Brown. Um, I find that the pencil, of course, on a daily basis, if I had today also pencil, um, the Brow Wiz pencil in um, Ebony or Dark Brown. I don't remember the color. But uh, yeah, on a regular basis, <coughs> excuse me, that seems fine with me but if I had maybe a few minutes extra and I use this powder on my eyebrows um, the eyebrows is really look they are they really look natural like really really so I haven't tried the pomade uh, which everybody talks about on YouTube because it seems for me it's a lot of work to get them natural or it seems more defined to me and of course a lot of work as I said but I'm happy with this and the pencil so far so yep 
Uh, next is the eyeliner from Kat Von D. I have heard so much about it. It's just a basic black eyeliner and nice felt tip. Uh, this is... Um, I got it during the friends and family only and this is just the basic black eyeliner my um, YSL one was uh, drying out so yep so far it's good and and I got this also um, the Dior uh, sorry the sun just came up uh, Dior iconic overcoat mascara and this is a set I didn't even open it yet because um, I had so many mess Excuse me, so many mascaras um, in uh, rotation. Oh, yeah. Uh, and this is, I don't want to open it. Uh, as I said, I have, uh, this is what it looks like. And this has a mini five color um, eyeshadow palette. Eyeshadow palette in what? Um, 646 Mont. Mon again yeah it has just neutrals I think this will be good for me if I am traveling um, and I just need basic um, colors to define just and I um, that's it so not re like more of a color color but just to define it's a very nice palette on the go and of course um, uh, Dior uh, I don't carry any Dior um, eyeshadow palettes with me and that one is a nice one to try and of course before we go into the lips category I just want to mention one uh, matte primer from Rimmel um, as you guys all know that I have an um, I have oily skin and I was looking for a primer um, not looking I have my hourglass primer but I just came across this in Walmart and I find it intriguing because usually I'm very careful with the primers being uh, clogging out my pores I just tried one or two days and my car it's like my foundation or uh, my blush or whatever I'm putting on my face after it it stayed on um of course it's the purpose of it Robert, in during my day so this I find this is the cheapest uh, version if you are looking for a primer and Rimmel has I think good ones and of course uh, two no, two brushes which are changing right now how I do my makeup these days this is the one I got from eco tools this is a concealer brush and it's very very nice to put under my eyes sorry uh, and just like without any tugging or pulling it's just like patting under my eyes or whatever I need to do it's just so easy and quick and it's just the right size to do my under eyes uh, concealing with this one and of course this small stippling brush from elf is a saver a godsend for me why i tell you um uh, this is a uh, gift this is um the new highlighter from chanel i usually never go to chanel for highlighters my husband picked it up for because me and i couldn't say no of course and of course this looks like this and where should I swatch and this is how it looks so I was trying some of the brushes which I have in my collection with this and of course even if they are showing it up but they were like so sheer that I was finding if it is not going to be picked up so how am I going to work with it like I'm not going to pile it over and over if it's so hard to work with but of course with this I just put it like this and this is what I have uh, on my top of my cheeks today with this brush and it's a perfect combination you should guys you sh you should guys no you should try with this one this highlighter with this brush I know you are going to like it okay last but not the least is the lipstick glow <laughs> okay these are the two 
Of course, you guys should know these are the two lime crime lipsticks. I didn't even know that lime, uh, Sephora carries lime crime. I saw it on Instagram and I ordered it right away because that was the last day to get the discount from Sephora friends and family. This is the color in Utopia and uh, Red Velvet. These are the two popular shades um, in their line. I'll swatch them for you and of course these are long lasting my friends. Hmm. Utopia is the bottom one and Red Velvet is the top one. So yep, yeah. once they are set you guys need a scrubbing hand to get them off seriously i have tried it seven o'clock in the morning and i took them off 11 in the night and they are not budging not budging at all i have eaten i have drank i have done everything and at the end of the night boom but i must say one thing if you have dry patches they might uh show through or they might cling through whatever you want to prefer but on the other hand if you put a chip chipstick no chapstick underneath it they will stay on but you have to work fast with them they are very very lightweight uh, and uh, work fast as i said because once they are set and if you have like outside lines and they are where not where they are not supposed to they are going to stay so be careful when you are applying them but once they are set you are done <coughs> uh, these are three bite beauty lip glosses for ten dollars of course i said three yes the third one is in my purse um strawberry rambutan and the third one i don't know the name sorry these are the mini lipsticks lip glosses which i think black friday they got it for ten dollars for these three so i got a good deal on them and of course uh, i have on on my lips and it stays pretty good and i don't think there is a color difference this is kind of a brown and this is a pink uh, when you put it on the lips it doesn't matter it's just gloss and of course but it's a pretty gloss to have and for for that price it's nice way to try them because they stay on pretty pretty long for a lip gloss four or five hours and they are very very hydrating very moisturizing i have put this gloss on i think two hours prior and i have not touched up and it's still shining through uh, so and of course with these lip glosses um, usually what is the case whenever I put on lip gloss of on top of a lipstick my lipstick and everything moves out of my lips yeah I know but these ones if you put them on a lipstick it's not gonna move they are just going to shine through your lipstick and that's it so they are in that sense uh, I don't want to say thick and heavy but they are that consistency that they are not going to make your lipstick move out of your lips of course so these are uh, nice ones if i am finished i probably buy a one any one color in full size and of course uh, i have heard so much um, about m cosmetics uh, their lipsticks uh, this is the only thing I wanted to try from them and I got a color uh, in color posh This is just a plain classic lipstick and this is uh, for me. It's a regular um, Everyday nude lipstick for me to try and I'm not disappointed uh, I don't want to say that I want to try anything more out of uh, from M cosmetics as of now, but this is what I got and I'm very very happy that I got this color and I'm very very pleased with it uh, only four three four things to go and this one uh, this is the color I wanted for so long and I of course I got this time this is from Rouge Dior number 786 uh, this is I think mystic mauve mauve mystier I think something like that this is what I have um, 
this is a very very nice color uh, as you can see it has some shine through it and this is the close up of it it's I don't know how to describe it's a mauve yes but it has so dark plum based underneath when you put it on on your lips it looks sometimes um, total dark mauve no total dark purple but uh, with the hint of plum no with the hint of mauve in it it looks sometimes dark mauvey plum it, if it makes sense I don't know see um, um maybe I'm babbling but it's a nice shade and last but not the least the two lipsticks which is everyone was talking about Lars. <laughs> the two shades which I was most attracted were Anna of course I had to get a shade which is on a regular basis for me this is Anna muted pinky purple and whatever everybody is saying that this stays on they are creamy they are long lasting it's true of course I'm very skeptical about that and I had to try before I ramble about them as you know of course the next shade is you should know it's Dominique it's a grayish purple and of course when I first seeing the swatches I said no it looks like heroin or from MAC or um, up the amp kind of in that category like it boosts or it's a neon kind of a shade when you put it on no it's a very very nice of course it's very very unique it looks it looks nothing uh, but when you put it on it looks like this and it but uh, if you want to if you are afraid of trying this sort of a color try putting a dark or any other colored lip pencil underneath and on top if you put it it's gonna change or it's gonna reflect through that pencil so it it's gonna change I have done that only one time and only from that basis I am trying to tell you that but maybe it depends on everybody's uh, chemistry how their lips and plus on the lipsticks are going to react these are very very opaque very creamy stays on the whole day of course when you eat or drink they are going to rub off yes but most of the part their consistency is quite good so it's a huge haul a nice way to come back I think but um, yeah if you guys have any any questions regarding that or any of the hauls or any other um, products you want me to try out or I don't know any questions just feel free to put them in the comments I'll definitely get back to you through that and rest I will see you later bye guys